times. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. Now, two things are going to happen on this episode. I'm with Ken Nagel, uh, who has great cars, and you'll see that. But uh, one is this is his wife Carol's favorite car, and he'll explain that later in the video, why she likes this car. But number two is it's going to put, well, 12-year-old smiles because boys like their toys, and, well, this is definitely a toy. Ken, what do we bring today? Well, we got a 64 Chevy Impala uh, Super Sport. And it's a 409 cubic inch with 425 cubic uh, horsepower with a four speed Muncie transmission and a 411 rear end on it. So we've got muscle at its peak <laughs> and, a, and a song by the Beach Boys to go along with that. There you go. We're not going to play that because YouTube would tell us that it violates our rules, but we will give you, as you can see, Ken's 409. Yeah. Well, in 64, when you wanted a muscle car, the GTO was just coming out, and Chevrolet had this clearly as a competitor. We have the nice trim up the center, the nice aluminum grille, and this one's all wonderfully stock, as you can see. And we'll just move over and show you this on the side. This is a numbers matching car, by the way, on it. So it's completely original on it. And you can see that exhaust underneath as well. And we've got this halfway through the car. The all-important badge that says it all is right there. But from this trim piece, it goes to this kind of turned aluminum, the sport mirror with the Chevy bow tie, the nice trunk antenna, the Impala SS, along with the SS hubcaps. And this one, we're actually going to do the hood first because, well, we've got the sun under there. So let's take a look under the hood. It's right under the bumper. There you go. <laughs> uh, that's delightful. Look at the valve covers are chrome 409. With 425 horsepower. This is kind of what it would look like, well, right from the factory. So if you can imagine you're in your dealer in 64 and you pop that hood. Ken, we will uh, show the trunk and treats in a minute, but let's keep this open and okay. uh, let's fire this one up. And we'll right. show the interior as well. Right. We'll turn it around and get it in the sun for you, but we'll, we'll fire it up while it's in the sun. The Chevy bow tie there. Step on the brakes for a moment. All right, let me 
Let me just listen to an idol for a minute. Let me just put the baby to sleep. So here's the back of your 64, and because it's the Impala with the SS, it has that little extra touch of spun aluminum through the center there, some nice lighting. Let's open the trunk on this okay. Impala SS, that chrome piece up the back. And we have some trunk and treats for you here. There's your trunk. There's your jack instructions and your Chevrolet 64 brochure. I'll take them one at a time. 105. There's your Impala Super Sport. There's your Impala. Oh. Your Biscayne. Your Bel Air. See a little difference in the taillights as well. Your Malibu Super Sport. Youthful Looks. And Chevy Spirit in a new car. Your Malibu, your Chevelle 300, your Chevy 2, the Nova, your Chevy 2 100, Your 64 Corvair and your 64 Corvette, America's sports car. This talks about your options for the Chevrolet, the Chevelle, the Chevy 2, the Corvair, the Corvette. Then your options go across this way. There's your Corvair, your Chevy 2, your Chevelle and your Impala. There's five and sixty-four. We'll move this over to the prime location. The Impala series. The Sport Coupe, the Bel Air, a great brochure, the Biscayne, Total Economy with New Luxury. The station wagons, loads of space, your interiors, the super sport, and we'll get over. Impala, Impala wagon. The Bel Air, the Biscayne, the 
your engines, seven performance wise engines, there's your 409, Start your 409 discussion over here. The magic mirror finish. No high price on luxury here. Just sports and sparkle. Jet smooth luxury. And this is a book, well, you just don't see that often. Which is, there's 5 and 64. I won't go through all of them. Well, you'll see some of those same pictures we may have seen before. We have the Impala Super Sport. The con convertible. We've seen some of the other ones. The Bel Air. The Biscayne. New Chevelle, the Malibu Sport. Let me just show some custom features. Some bumper guards. The Corvair for sixty four. The Corvair. Greenbrier sports wagon. That Corvette for 64. The Stingray series. Your interiors. And your custom fabrics for some of the cars. Talks about Impala Super Sport. There's a red fabric interior. You can see the rest of them. You get the picture and the exterior colors. Riverside Red. Looks like what we have here. Desert beige, saddle tan, tuxedo black. Or we might have ember red. That's great stuff. That's some good trunk of treats right there. Close that. We'll go to the interior. So let me let you take in the SS there. The correct amount of pedals. I'll let you take in that dash. Ken, what does it feel like driving this one? Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm 16 again. Isn't that right? <laughs> exactly. That's you got some real power in your, on your, you're sitting on. Can so you control speak. it or not really? Uh, well, I do. Well, I can control it to what I do. I don't go crazy. But on I mean, it, but I mean, yeah. can you control being 16 when you're in? The oh, car? yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, no, no. As no. soon as you get in this yeah, car, you're, you're 16. Yeah, you're right. 16, yeah, right? Yeah. Both of us. You'll see that in a second. We're going to take it for a ride with you. But there's your buckets. And your Impala badge there. Your nice features here. You can see the perfect headliner. A couple of nice cues. Is uh, the turned metal on the dash, the Impala up front, 
there's no question about your RPMs making you feel like you're in a sports car your speedometer fuel your clock your gauges your Chevy bow tie some nice gauges there your ashtray combined with lighter the word Impala nicely positioned in front of your passenger the um, the four positions there nice to have that there your shifter there and a nice SS badge striking it off there. Well, Ken, let's uh, let's take this one. Let's take this one for a ride. Okay, I'm ready. Can't wait. <laughs> let's go. So I'm with Ken Nagel, and although we have got many luxury cruisers, this one, well, this is what muscle's all about. It's what muscle. This was one of the beginners in the muscle world. Uh, fight years ago, the, the uh, Chevy Impala 409, 425 horsepower, two, yeah. dual quad, four-speed Muncie rock crusher transmission, and a 411 rear end. What else do you need to <laughs> win the race? <laughs> so this has got a smile on both of our faces. Right. We're basically mentally about 12 years old <laughs> right now. I mean, I could be stretching that. We might be younger. <laughs> But, uh, you know, although the, the Boulevard Cruisers and a uh, Country Road are wonderful, this is, this is a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Uh, now, why the 409? Well, because, I, first of all, the reason I have this car is that I had a car somewhat like this uh, back in 64. Uh, in, in, uh, and uh, before that, I, had, I bought a 64, but it was not a 409. It was just a 348, uh, four-speed. Uh, the unique thing about this car is that it's red on red. Okay, most cars were red on black, red on white, and um, and, it, and this is a super sport, which means we got the bucket seats, console, and the whole thing. This one's done right. All right, let's, let's see what this has got here. Go ahead. Definitely put the uh, put the smile on the face for sure. And this car came up for sale at Mecham Auction at Pheasant Run in 1993, and I seen it advertised, and, and uh, I didn't know that it was a 409. Though they didn't say that, they just said it was a super sport. I went up on Friday night to see what the car looked like, what it was all about, and I was like, oh my God, this thing's a 409 and a four-speed, the whole giddy up on it. And the, the red on red, which was a flashback to the car that I had originally and the whole thing. And uh, the other significant thing about it, what, what every car has a story, I started dating my wife in 1964. Is that right? I got this car, and it was just this car. And my wife would, when she would come out to the car barn and look the cars over, she'd look at them all. She didn't care about any of the cars. But the only one she related to was this car. So this is this is Carol's favorite. Yep. Yeah. Yep. The rest of them, she didn't know why I had them. <laughs> Just why, why do you need all these? All you need is one. <laughs> all you need is one. The 409. We dated in that. That's the one. Yeah. Oh, what a great story. This car's got a great yeah. uh, feel to it. So this this one here, we have never done a frame off restoration on it. Uh, all we did was tweak the uh, buff the the paint. And uh, things there, we I never did a restoration on it, and uh, I, I re we redid the uh, interior, not the not the seats, but the uh, carpeting, the vinyl, the uh, ceiling, uh, you know, Just things like internal, it up a bit. internal stuff. Yes, that's all we done to it. Yeah. So it made it like a brand new car. Yeah. yeah. Again, the perfect car, nothing but horsepower and cornfields on an open road. Yeah. Exactly. So 
So Ken, uh, what a treat to have your car on the channel. I'm just gonna enjoy this trip. Uh, we'll let these people see this. Nice. We'll let these people see this. <laughs> Thanks for being on my car story. Okay, thank you, and thank you for inviting me. Let me just let them see this trip as we finish off here.